Bronson, if you'd have told me before the season started you guys would be in the Sweet 16, wouldn't have been a shock to me at all. The path that you guys took, though, was odd as an eight seed, this and that. If I said it was kind of a weird year for you, for your team, you agree with that? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, we faced a we faced a lot of adversity as a team, you know, especially going back to last year with the coaching change and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but we've also faced a lot, you know, this year losing five or six, you know, late in the season, which is unfortunate. But I kind of, you know, had in the back of my mind uh, my freshman year when when we lost, I think five or six as well, and ended up making the final four. So I knew, you know, I knew that eventually would make us, you know, stronger in the long run. Yeah, and, and it wasn't a surprise to many people, myself included, to see you guys play so well last week against Nova. I thought it was incredibly unfair for them to have to play you as an eight seed because, <laughs> I mean, th this next game for you will be your 17th in the NCAA tournament. So, obviously, you, you, guys know your, you guys know the stage. You're familiar with it. How much do you think being comfortable in those big moments has helped? I think it's helped quite a bit, you know, obviously going back to our first, my class's first two years here, going to back-to-back -to -back Final Fours and just having all that tournament experience, I think it really helps with us and also, you know, the younger guys for everyone to just stay calm, you know, cool, calm, and collected. But at this point, you know, Sweet 16, everybody's kind of, you know, everybody's kind of used to it by now and, you know, there's no bad teams left. So um, it's going to be, it's going to be a good, uh, good tournament. You've played some in the garden, and you're not the only guy that hasn't necessarily had his best shooting games there. It's, I, I don't know if it's the <laughs> stage, if it's the lighting. I mean, how do, you, how do you sort of explain and describe why shooting in the garden for a lot of people, again, not just you, can be kind of a challenge? <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm not a guy who likes to make excuses, but I mean, it could be it could be like you said the stage you know playing at the garden the historic arena where you know everyone has played basically and uh -huh. Kobe's had so many great games there who's my favorite player um, but uh, the rims are a little hard <laughs> but I mean you can't really you can't really use that as an as an excuse you just gotta go out there and you know not think just play and like I you know like I said before go out there and try to have fun Right. I, that's, that's interesting. It's, it's some, you know, certain gyms have soft rims, certain gyms, I mean, if, if they're hard, you just a little more arc under the ball, right? That's their free shooting tip from, uh, exactly. from, a, from an old guy that, uh, that didn't play at your level. Last quick thought, um, my main <laughs> man Stanford, Steve, here on the show, he, he predicted that you guys would go to the Final Four when he saw the brackets. What has to happen? What do you all have to do Friday and then Sunday if you get there to make that real? We just have to keep doing what we've been doing for the past, you know, five or six games, and that's, you know, playing together. When we weren't playing well, when we were losing five or six, we weren't, you know, we weren't together on defense or offense. And when we play defense, you know, unified, that kind of, a lot, we allow that to lead into our offense as well. Um, and like I keep saying, we just have to go out there with the mindset of, you know, we have nothing to lose. We're kind of the underdogs and just go out there, play loose and have fun. That's the key.